And, and here's, here's what we just have to understand. Compassion stops when comparing starts. Compassion stops when comparing starts. If you want to be a person of love, you cannot also be a person of constant comparison. Because that comparison will lead to coveting. It'll lead to jealousy. It'll lead to envy. It'll lead to rivalry. Compassion stops when comparing starts. And yet we just compare all the time. Well, I want their kind of marriage. I wish my kids liked each other as much as those people's kids liked each other. How come, how come, you know, we started kind of in the same place and we went to the same school, but their career really took off and mine's here. You know, I work just as hard as they do, but they get all the recognition and they get all the praise and nobody notices what I do. I'm trying to get pregnant. And they weren't even trying and they got a baby. And I've been slaving away at my job for years. And he wasn't even looking and he got a promotion. But here's something you got to understand. Every person in this room, everyone you meet, everyone you know, everyone you don't know. Listen, everyone is fighting a battle you know nothing about. And if people are wealthy, there's pressure that comes with that. And if people are great looking, there's pressure that comes with that. And if people are wildly successful, there's pressure that comes with that. Just like there's pressure with not having all that stuff. And our job is not to figure out who wins and who loses. Our job is to love. Compassion stops when comparing starts. 